and disease of endothelium. The most important additive management that was proven from clinical trial in general for treating moderate or severe COVID-19 patients is the addition of corticosteroids. This is one of the landmark studies, effect of dexamethasone on days alive and ventilator free in patients with moderate or severe acute respiratory distress syndrome and COVID-19. The name of the trial is CODEX randomized clinical trial. And this is a number of patients in dexamethasone arm and the control arm. This study uh, showed that intravenous dexamethasone plus standard of care compared with the standard of care alone resulted in a statistically significant increase in the number of days alive and free of mechanical ventilation over 28 days. Marvelous response of dexamethasone. So is it only dexamethasone? No, there are many studies in the different uh, corticosteroid members. And this is a very nice meta-analysis that discusses all these. So if you look here, we have DEXA COVID-19, CODEX recovery, CAPE COVID, COVID steroid, uh, REMAB CAP, steroid SARI. All these are clinical trials using a different dex here dexamethasone, and this is a dose, 20 milligram per day intravenous for five days, and then 10 milligram daily for five days in this, in this trial. In the second trial, 20 milligram per day the, for five days, the same dosage. The third trial is a recovery trial, six milligram per day orally or intravenously, dexamethasone. Then we have hydrocortisone by these dosages uh, range for the duration of treatment, hydrocortisone, hydrocortisone, and methylprednisolone. So these are the landmark trials of the, uh, addressing the effects of steroid therapy in treating COVID patients. As you see clearly, death rate is significantly reduced overall, the overall results of meta-analysis confirming the superiority of steroid therapy for treating severe diseases. So in this perspective, meta-analysis of seven randomized trials that included 1,700 patients of whom 647 died, 28 day all cause mortality was lower among patients who received corticosteroids compared with those who received the usual care. And the summary uh, is uh, the odds ratio is 0.66. This means addition of steroid in severe disease makes a great difference. Do you have guidelines to use steroid? This is a, a living WHO guideline on steroid therapy. This is how we stratify the patients according to disease severity. We have either non-severe disease. Non-severe disease means absence of severe and critical criteria. What are the severe criteria? If we have a saturation of oxygen less than 90%, on room air, respiratory rate above 30 per minute in adults, raise the respiratory rate in children, signs of severe respiratory distress. So all these are criteria for severe disease. What are the criteria for critical disease? Patients require life-sustaining treatment, acute respiratory distress syndrome, sepsis or septic shock. So if we look at severe or critical, this is recommendation number one. And as you see in green color means the guidelines recommended using corticosteroids. So the place of corticosteroids are to be added for severe and the critical criteria of COVID-19. But if we don't have the criteria of severe or critical illness, what about the recommendations? Recommendation two for non-severe disease is red color, this means no rule for corticosteroid. This is why th th there is suggestion not to give a steroid for these patients. Again, what to give? This is the interventional compared. Dexamethasone is the best, six milligram oral or intravenous daily for seven to 10 days. So this is a suggested regimen. Acceptable alternative regimen, 
and I agree with because I discussed with Dr. Tari Tantawi, dexamethasone is uh, in, is an uh, is a potent anti-inflammatory drug. The glucocorticoid potency is uh, perfect. So this is why other types of corticosteroids are alternative modalities. Hydro hydrocortisone, and this is a dose 50 milligram intravenous every eight hours for seven to 10 days. Methylprednisolone, 10 milligram intravenous every six hours for seven to 10 days. The third is prednisone, 40 milligram oral daily for seven to 10 days. Oral or IV depends upon the state of the patient either uh, the patient is fit for uh, the, uh, the to, to take the drug oral or IV. There is some um, uh, drawing on this, please, uh, please don't draw on the screen, my colleagues. Okay. So this is, I, I would like to stress on this point. So if we discuss mortality, with critical illness or with severe illness, you'll find here fewer, this is the, the standard of care, 415, and here mortality is reduced to 328. Moderate evidence toward the severity of corticosteroid in critical illness and moderate also for severe disease. So mortality, steroid saves life. For side effects, there is no difference no important difference regarding gastrointestinal bleeding, super infections, but the care of hyperglycemia, because as I'm going to mention at the end of the presentation, COVID may lead to new onset diabetes. Whenever we decide to give a steroid, we should monitor glycemia, because sometimes the steroid may lead to even ketosis and, and severe hyperglycemia, and we don't uh, take care of this. So be careful about hyper glycemia because it is higher if we add steroids. No important difference regarding neuromuscular weakness, neuropsychiatric effects, and unknown for others. So it seems that steroid is beneficial for severe and critical illness.